Here with Coach Guy Gadowski on GoPSUSports.com. Guy, first, we heard the news today that Joe Batista will be leaving Penn State. Your reflections on what he brought to Penn State with the hockey program and his contributions? Oh, geez. Well, I could go on for a long time about that, but I'm here. I think we're all here. The Division One program's here largely due to his efforts, and we're all, you know, we will all be forever indebted to that. And uh, so sorry to see him go. Obviously, he's a huge part of the program, always will be. But at the same time, I'm, I mean, congratulations to him. He's uh, he's working for a tremendous man and a tremendous organization. So congratulations. And we, we also, of course, wish him the very best and welcome him back anytime. Five games in. What have you seen from your team that you like? How, how are you evaluating the team so far? Uh, from what I like, I, I think uh, always when you get – positive results on the scoreboard you you tend to be happier but at the same time I do like um, that it, it, from the commonalities of the teams we faced in the past we have done a lot better job with shots uh, in terms of territorial play and and so that's definitely one thing that we're excited about with our depth certainly plays a large role with that and then if you're to lead in your next question what am I disappointed in obviously um, you know we we have to continue to learn how to play hard but to stay out of the box and that's a that's a process. It's tough that when we haven't uh, been a part of a league for a couple of years and been a part of the uh, officiating meetings, and w we have to get direction and, and we have to pass along the players, and we're, we're doing that. We'll learn. We'll figure it out. Are there points of emphasis this year that the officials are looking at? There always are, um, but we haven't been practicing in a league or a setting for two years, and there's a difference, and you, you get that constant feedback, whereas in the past we are bouncing one from one to the other. So it's a learning process. Maybe when you think about it, it's not altogether unexpected, but we certainly have to pay attention to it. We've done some work with the director of the league officiating for the Big Ten, and I'm sure that will help. How about some of the younger players so far? I know David Goodwin has stood out for me, Dylan yeah. Richard. What have you seen from them, and are they picking up the speed? I know those two are, but how about as a whole, are they picking up the speed of the college game? I'm very impressed with uh, some of the new players. And you mentioned, too, um, easy to pick them out because yeah. they've had offensive success, mm -hmm. and Dylan Richard has the goal of the year so far. I mean, that was tremendous. So uh, we're certainly very happy with him. Ricky DeRosa has been great mm -hmm. uh, the last few games and, and uh, really added to our character and to our identity, and, and, and many others, too. I think Zach Sarr adds to that and uh, the new players that are that are I mean Mike Williamson had a great game as well David Thompson has played very strong in the past uh, I, I think that we haven't seen we still have the seen the best of Eamon McAdam and I'm sure you will be talking about him and and then new players that aren't aren't that are transfers uh, I mean Patrick Cowdice you've seen what he's done and, and Eric Scheid has had a good start as well so I think all our new players are playing very well you sound pretty happy uh, I'm relatively happy. All right, thanks. Thank you. Guy Gadowski, the head coach of the Nittany Lions. Penn State takes on Robert Morris on Friday night.